there are certain steps that you need to take if you want to become a very good biodigester constructor and to have the trust of homeowners and prospective clients you need to understand certain things just from the onset of biodigester construction and that's exactly what i'm going to share with you in this video the four biggest biodigester construction secrets that you need to know if you are a biodigester constructor coming up in this video the first biodigester construction secret that you need to know is to be an apprentice if you want to be a good constructor in the future for any kind of job that you want to enter into you need an experience and the experience comes from being an apprentice it means that you have to learn on the job to become a good constructor i have seen people just take on jobs that they have no clue about and then they just mess up the first important job that they do get and then they are out of the market because nobody is going to give them referral for such a job that they have done what it means is that you do not become the qualified installer that you want to be and then you do not get prospective jobs or prospective clients in the future because if you do get somebody call you say that they want to construct a biodigester most of the time either they have seen your job i know people go online go on the internet facebook and then they take pictures of some other people's job and they use it as their job i have seen several people form companies even form um, facebook pages based on my company dream house biodigesters and they are out there constructing biodigester or they are out there looking for biodigester work saying that this is the kind of jobs that they have done if the job that you are showing to other customers or prospective clients or homeowners is not your job you are going to be found out so the key part for you to be a good at anything in life i mean this is just not for only biodigester constructed for every kind of job or for every kind of thing in life you need to be good at it when i started this business what i did was to work with a company and work with a group and under study over two years under study understand all the permutation all the implications for everybody that gets a construction that we had to do and it was key to get the whole system right because the key thing is for biodigesters you need to know that you need to have a, a good gradient you need to know the location where you are going to locate the digester you need to understand how technically the slopes or how many the number of pipes that are coming from the house how you are going to have them manage and then whether you actually need to do two or one digester you need to do a large one you need to do a medium size depending on the average users of the facility in the house so these are some of the few key things that you need to know the second biggest biodigester construction secret that you need to know is to take on jobs that you can execute just simply take on projects that you know you can execute to the best of your ability do not go and take on a project somebody is building a, a hospital and you are a newly biodigester constructor and then you go and send a proposal and they give you the job and that job is definitely going to be a failure because you do not have the rudiments of biodigester construction and you need to understand that that it's best as a constructor what i always advise is do one for yourself at your backyard or do one for your grandmother in the village for your parents outside the city or for any property that is not really a big property where you are going to mess yourself up so take on simple projects simple low-income houses in the area i'm not going to charge you for anything just give me the materials and then i'll get the job done for you and then you can build your confidence you can build your project line you can build your understanding based on that simple job and you can also use it for referral you can go back to it if it's a so copy that you did you can see how it's working you can see the groundwork and then you can see whether your slope and everything is working you can actually go anytime and open it up and see how the biodegradation itself is working for you then you can use that do all your workings and then write down some notes and things and based on that in fact use different materials if you can get two or three different projects try different decomposition materials and see which one will actually work best for you before we continue with the video i would like to know if you are getting any value so far from the video and if you are getting this value then please go ahead and give a thumbs up and like this video and if you are also new to the channel then you can subscribe and be part of this growing community of biodigester lovers let's go the third biggest biodigester construction secrets that you need to know 
is to consult other biodigester constructors. If you do have a job and you are not sure of what is it that you are doing, ask questions. Come on my YouTube channel and leave a message. To the best of my ability, I try to reply to most of the messages that I do get. So come on the page and ask questions. Send us a WhatsApp, send us an email and ask questions. And then to the best of our ability, we can also try and help you to understand some of the things that you need to know. You have to collaborate. I do get jobs and I, I'm on the phone to some of the experienced constructors that I know in the system and I ask them questions. Sometimes I have to go and take them to the site to have a second opinion, to have a different understanding of what is it that you are doing. Sometimes you go on an inspection to a site and the first instinct is to, oh, let's put the digester here. Oh, you have to and I have a digester this year. And then you just make the decision. But when you do get a second opinion or a technical advice, you'll be told that, look, even though your first estimation is okay, I think it should be here. I think it should be here. It makes sense here. And then it will make sense here. And the gradient will come from here or the slope is coming from here. So let's put it here. Let, let's not send it to the back of the building because the slope is coming to the front of the house. And then it means that all the water will be coming here. When the, all the rainwater will show up at a particular point. And you need to know all these things when you want to construct a biodigester. So consult other qualified instructors or constructors of biodigesters and seek their second opinion if you want to become a good biodigester constructor. The fourth most important biodigester construction secret that as a biodigester constructor you need to know is to ask the homeowner the right questions. Do not go about talking about pricing. Do not go and tell the person, hey Charlie, me the mobile, I guess I just have a cost to either you want to do it or you don't want to do it. <laughs> no, please. Just ask the right questions. The right questions can be in the form of how many bedrooms are there, the number of toilet seats that you have in the house, where the project is located, what kind of soil do you have in your estimation is there. Most of them will ask you to come to the house and do inspection, but it's good to have a background knowledge of what exactly you are going to meet when you show up on somebody's project or somebody's site so to understand what is it that you are coming to look at. So it's good to ask the right question before you come to a conclusion whether this is a digester or this is a project that you can take on. And then the moment you ask the right question, you, have, you are clear in your mind where you are going to be and what exactly that you are going to do. So it's key for biodigester construction to ask the owners of the property the right questions and get the right understanding before you take on a job. In fact, some of the homeowners will prefer you putting the digester at a particular location. And if that's what meets the requirement and it's okay for you, go ahead. Don't go and be suggesting things that people are not pleased with. The customer always comes first and they need to be happy before you're locating their bio digest. So it's key to always understand that you have to ask the right questions when you want to construct a biodigester. So these are the four simple biodigester construction secrets that you need to understand if you want to become a very good and qualified biodigester constructor. The video showing up next will explain to you exactly what I'm talking about when I mean how biodigesters work in this part of the world.